Sir Henry Lawrence did his duty and more. He founded the Lawrence schools. The very first one was at Sana, then Lovedale, Ghora Gali, and Mount Abu. Charity, altruism, benevolence. In fact, the very duty of care was the motivation for the foundation of these worthy institutions. Today, Sana has a 175 year old legacy, which has enabled it to become a proud Indian school that not only serves the children of the new India, but the world at large. I hand you over to our wonderful students. They will lead the way. I wonder what makes a chapel a building of interest. The oldest existing building, built in 1853. It is the spiritual center of the school, the chapel. The school assemblies take place here. The porch was built in the memory of our founder by Colonel Herbert Edward in 1858. Sahaj, what is the significance of this war memorial? Located next to the chapel, it was built in the proud memory of the old scenarians who fell in the Great War. The memorial is in the form of a Celtic cross and is about 20 feet high. It is a testament of the long-standing history of the old scenarians who continue to fight for the nation. What magnificent architecture! I wonder what the story behind this building is. The foundation stone of Birdwood School, the center of academic excellence, was founded by the Right Reverend, the Bishop of Lahore, Sir H.B. Durant, on August 25th, 1927. And the Birdwood School building was founded by His Excellency, Field Marshal Sir W. R. Birdwood Bart, Commander-in-Chief India, on September 22, 1929. It also houses the Barn Hall, the school auditorium, which was named after the then principal of the school, Sir George Barn. All school functions and traditional programs take place here. As buildings go, here's another one that looks amazing. Any thoughts, Parinur? This is the school's library and museum, formerly the girls' dining hall. It is named after Miss Ada Parker, the headmistress for the girls from 1890 to 1923. This building consolidates history with memorabilia collected over the years. This institution takes pride in preserving the traditions and the ethos of the founder's vision. What a magnificent field this is, being guarded by a soldier. I wonder why, Jemukund. Late in 1927, it was the playground for girls where all manners of games were to be played. Reconstructed in 2019 and it is the main field for all sporting activities for the girls department. Standing at a continuous vigil in the corner of the peastead is a life-size statue of 2nd Lieutenant Arun Khetarpal Paramvir Chakra who laid down his life for the defence of the nation.